Hello, my name is Shalini Yashamanyanga. Welcome to Mystery Adventures, where we take you on a journey of fun and excitement. Here's the lineup of today's show. Starting the show is today's adventure, followed by kids' news. We take you through a world of make-believe on Wonderland, and then we get to conserve the environment on Environmental Club. Today, we take you to a local pizzeria and learn the art of making pizza. We meet the chef, learn about the ingredients and see how pizza is made. Hey there little ones! On today's adventure, we take you through making of pizza at a local restaurant. We learned to make pizza with your favorite toppings. You start off by choosing the type of crust, thin crust or thick crust. Then you pick out some toppings and don't forget the cheese. Once your pizza is assembled, you will place it in the oven and watch it cook. When it's done, you will get to cut it up and enjoy. My name is Mpoto Setu Kedzi. I learned at Waisal Peace School. Our adventure today was making pizza. We made the dough out of flour and water. We put in cheese, mushroom and chicken. After that, we put the pizza in the oven. After that, it was ready. I can now enjoy my pizza. My, my name is Dian. I learned at was a robbery school. I'm almost done eating my pizza. Mmm, this pizza was so delicious. I know it's less healthy, but I don't mind. Mmm, I really enjoyed this pizza. I know it's less healthy, but I don't mind. Uh-oh, this is the last piece. I think I want some more pizza. What do I do? Can I make another one? Uh oh, not today. That was the adventure for today. Hope you have learned how our favorite pizza is made. You are watching Mystery Adventures from Pizza Making to Kids News. Hello and welcome to Kids News. Starting the bulletin today is the story of Adrian. Nine-year-old Zimbabwean model, Aiden Murambiz, will represent Africa at the Little Miss and Mr. World competition set for United States of America in August after winning the continental title. He is now set to represent Africa at the World Contest. Isn't that amazing? One of our very own Zimbabwean represented at the inaugural event. The nine-year-old is excited after outshining more than 30 other contestants from the continent. I started competing here in Zimbabwe. I won the other little Mr. and Mrs. Africa competition. And then that led me to go to Nigeria. Ten African countries participated and the event meant to celebrate cultural diversity through modeling. As we continue with the news, let's give your brain a workout and have some fun with these cool facts. Today we look at amazing facts on colors. The colors of a rainbow always appears in the same order. Blue, red, yellow are primary colors. These colors plus white and black blend to make other or other colors. Red is the first color a baby can see. White is the most popular car color. Brown eyes are the most prevalent in the human population. To end this bulletin, we give you highlights of some events that have been taking place in Harare.
We showcase some of the talent that we have in Zimbabwe. My name is Shalinya Shamanyenga. Until next time, see you. Why not, Mpuru? Because they are not 
about magic bean stalks. Well done. These are just normal bean stalks. These are not magic bean stalks. So off Jack went cramming the bean stalk. Hmm. Do you guys know a song that sounds like that? Yes. Thank you. 
was running down. Guess what Jack did? Yes? He took the hen he took the hen and to he took the hen and the hop. Well done. Yes? And then he ran and then he ran away and then he let the hop go. And well then done, well oh, done, you're finishing the story. So Jack took the hen and he took the hop and he started running and the giant woke up and said, Who's that with my hen? And the giant started running after Jack. So Jack went on his beanstalk. Can you guys point to your beanstalk? So Jack went on his beanstalk, he started running down and he called to his mother. What do you think he said to his mother when he was running down being chased by a giant? Yes, Tando? He said, Mother, bring me an egg. Well done. Why did he need an egg? Yes, Uhuru? To chop down the beanstalk. To chop down the beanstalk. Do you know what the song was for that one? Yes. He was chopping down the beanstalk. Welcome to Environmental Club. You're watching Mystery Adventures. And today we're going to be talking about littering. So the first question which you may ask is, what is littering? Littering is the disposal of waste or unwanted materials or items on the ground which may cause a negative impact on our environment. One of, another question is, why do people litter? People litter because they may not know the negative effects of, of rubbish or a waste on the ground or there may not be any disposal places of their litter. Some people may throw litter just because they may think that other workers may come and pick their litter up for them, or which is a very irresponsible action. Now we're going on to say to how we should pick up our litter properly. When picking litter, safety is important. So that's why we need protective clothing. We the protective clothing which you may need are the gloves which I'm wearing, a picking stick for picking some items which you may not be aware of, or a proper disposal bin or a, pla or a plastic bag where you can put your litter. After picking up litter, we then come to arranging our arranging the litter which we have picked up in different categories, such as metal, glass, per plastic and organic materials and organic materials plastic can be used to recycle can be used for recycling or making some objects such as plastic beans 
pipes and so on we can also use the organic matter such as banana peels and biodegradable kitchen waste can be used for to make organic fertilizers which will help in our garden so that our fruits and vegetables can grow well rules of littering are very common in community schools or any other places such as you are traveling you're traveling in your car you always have to have a bag a bag for disposing your waste so that you cannot throw throw it out outside your outside your car window to the open um at schools we are we are advised by our teachers and everyone to always throw your litter in your bins so that you can help so that you can make sure that our school is a wonderful and safe environment um in our communities it's very common because it's very common for people to litter around but we are also advised to always always to always throw your litter where if in bins so that we cannot make our communities dirty or filthy or unsafe for example in our community as you can see as you can see me and my friends always come outside and pick up every litter which we see and dispose them in 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 bins for example, as you can see in our community, me and my friends always come out and pick up litter and then we dispose them in our bins so that we can keep our environment clean. Because if you are caring for the environment, you are also caring for yourself. Until next time, always keep your environment clean. As they say, cleanliness is close to godliness. And I also advise you to also spread the word about how, about pick picking up litter and disposing them into the right places. Thank you. My name is Charlene on Mystery Adventures. Until next week. Bye.